Well, the manhunt could be ending for the gunman who shot two Pennsylvania state troopers, killing one of them. Police say they have recovered items that Eric Freen hid or abandoned in the woods, including a rifle and ammunition. ABC's Karen Travers has more. Eric Freen has eluded capture for eight nights, but Pennsylvania State Police say they're hot on his trail and have found more clues. They, they were recovered, uh, whether they were dropped or um, or left that uh, we believe he had with him uh, at the time of, uh, of this shooting. The 31-year-old survivalist is the focus of a massive manhunt. Freen, the second most wanted man in the country, is the only suspect in the ambush of this state police barracks in northeastern Pennsylvania. A trooper was killed during a barrage of gunfire. The suspect is still considered armed and dangerous. Police are focused on a heavily wooded area, about 250 square miles, where residents are on edge. Helicopter again. That's all you hear, on and off, all day long. And then at night, it intensifies. Some say they're arming themselves with whatever they can until police say Freen has been captured. For right now, I have a Ooh. machete. Many are now using an app that lets them listen in on police scanners. I wanted to know what was going on because they don't really, they don't give enough information. Police said there's no indication that Freen's a threat to the general public. Uh, I, I believe he's had every opportunity to harm others if he had chosen to do so. His fight is with law enforcement. A fight they say Freen has been planning for a long time. I do believe that he has been uh, surveilling the station for an extended period of time, and I do believe that uh, he has made extensive preparations. Police say they recovered a rifle that Eric Freen was carrying, but they don't know yet if it was a gun he used in the shooting. Karen Travers, ABC News, Washington.